The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that there are no Russian parts in the Tejas light combat aircraft, and only one part comes from Ukraine, for which HAL has an alternative source available, so it should not affect the Tejas production line. The chairman also said that the Tejas Mark 1A delivery will start from 2024 onwards and will be concluded in 2030. He also said that 5% of the profits are now put into design and indigenization activities, so that items that come from abroad can be indigenized every year to meet indigenization targets. He also added that Malaysia, Vietnam, Philippines and Egypt have been offered the Tejas aircraft, and local production in Egypt has been offered, keeping in mind that it might generate orders from the Middle East and North African countries who are also looking for fighter jets in smaller numbers, and the Egyptian facility might be used to meet such demands for this region. The Rafale Marine and FA-18 have recently concluded capability demonstration in Goa, and new reports indicate that the Indian Navy will now decide on the new deck-based fighter jet in the next two months. Both the French and American manufacturers claim to have the upper hand in the competition, and the Navy which has a history of selecting aircraft that is already in service with the Air Force, will not follow the Air Force this time, but will select the carrier-based aircraft that fully meets its operational requirements. The RDO's Electronics and Radar Development Establishment has released a tender for the development and realization of a foldable mobile radar hardware that will be developed with an industry partner. The partner must be capable of development qualification assembly and integration of foldable mobile radar hardware including ray electronics, containerized power and cooling system and other subsystems onto 6x6 high mobility vehicles. The foldable antenna frame will be 15 meters by 6 meters after unfolding. The assembly and integration will take place within 16 months of award of contract, and testing in the following two months. Mazagin Dock Limited has released an expression of interest seeking response from eligible Indian companies, for the design development and supply of propeller and shafting system for underwater platforms. The participating firm should also be in a position to manufacture test and supply the propeller and shafting system. The propeller will have a diameter of 3 meter, and the shafting system will be for underwater platforms designed for deep water submergence as well as surface operation. Kalyani Group had exhibited a wide range of indigenously developed offerings at East Tech 2022, that includes the E-Cars unmanned ground vehicle, Bharat 150 multi-rotor variable mission drone, an acoustic warning device for mobile application, JVPC 5.56 by 30 mm carbine developed by DRDO and manufactured by Kalyani Group, the 1.5 km range T5000M sniper rifle, a new 5.56 by 45 mm advanced carbine, dual technology mine detector, and the Garuda 105 V2 mobile weapon system. The Kalyani group also showcased the DRDO developed 120 mm fin stabilized armor piercing discarding Sabot Mark II ammunition for the Arjun tank and it is the first time in India that a private sector company has successfully manufactured this ammunition. The 110 km range Astra Mark I air-to-air -air missile will be integrated with Indian Navy's MiG-29K by end of this year. Hindustan Aeronautics is in charge of the program, and integration work has already begun, and CAD-based simulation is being used for validating carriage and separation simulations before actual trials begin. The Tejas Mark I has completed carriage and separation trials, and the Astra Mark I will be tested from the aircraft very soon. Oh, Mark,